Hello. I know. I I know. Um, I do have some fucking weird days, and I've just had a couple which <laughs> Never mind. They were weird. I like, quite enjoyed them. No, oh, no. Oh, fuck. I know, I know, it, I know it was going to go wrong when I got on the bus and it went bang and fucking everybody got off at the fucking local shops. I was like, oh, well, and I stayed on it. I, but like, it was a double decker and I haven't been upstairs on a double decker for ages, so I thought, oh, yeah, fuck it, I'll go upstairs. And there was a little foreign lady who sat on the other side. When she got off a cabbie, she did say something to me in foreign, and I have absolutely no idea what it was. And I heard the driver, like, talking to the fucking, well, I don't know, his controller or whatever they call him. And the controller said, oh, I'll just take the bus back to the depot. But the weird thing was, I was the only kind of on the bus, other than driver, all the way back to town from the shops. Fucking bus was fine. <laughs> I don't know what happened uh, before, but it did go bang. I mean, it was it was quite bang. I, I thought it kind of, I thought it did a fucking massive pot or something. Oh, fucking hell. But, yeah, it just got a bit weirder after that. First pub I went in and the fucking building noise. Well, I went in this morning and the fucking building noise was pissing me off. Reminded me too much of being at work. So I fucking got the fuck out of there. <laughs> Next, I, I went to, I went to Rolleston and it was shut up. And I'm like, oh, crap, here we go. What's going on? Oh, fuck. Um, uh, um, I don't know what's it called. I uh, went in the waiting room, bumped into a mate of, well, a mate of mine, and someone I probably haven't seen for about fucking 40 years. Well, um, yeah, about that. But, yeah, fuck. Oh, fucking hell. Then I ended up talking to some other random pub person in another pub. And I fucking ended up talking to a bed in another fucking pub. And that was just a wacky Wednesday part. Uh, I did a little pub call. I did actually manage five pubs. But that's quite hard in Sweden. There weren't many left. <laughs> but my dear, one was my local club on the way up. Oh, fucking hell. But yeah. I uh, just realised how fucking expensive it is to go out as well. Louder a bit. Uh, that's what I can get back up. It's only money. Okay, I don't care about that shit too much. If I did, I'd be rich. But I'd rather be poor, to be honest. Because then I'm more realistic. Living in the real world with real people. Uh, right. I love you all anyway. I don't know why the fuck I said that, but uh, I do actually mean it. I am living in the real world with real people. I don't like it. I have to admit. I'm trying to change it. Yeah, obviously, I'm working in the spiritual plane, so. Don't always look like I'm doing anything. No, fuck off. I, I managed to start to remember that I did a 20 year fucking mission and a super soldier. Because when you finish one of those, they won't be mined. And I when you start to remember what the fuck happened there, and mm, yeah, that one very nice. That was real nasty shit going on in that one. 
Uh, I put the shit on this plan, it was bad, but fucking hell, that one is even worse. And the shit going on this planet is fucking bad enough underground. But just fucking leave the kids alone, boy. Please. I have actually I've seen two little babies and a fucking little toddler, and they all had the same name, Alicia. And I don't know what the odds of that is in two days. It's pretty slim, but I've always been fighting for the children. And they're all beautiful young little uncorrupted babies and toddlers. I know, I like I like them uncorrupted. It's really hard to find that shit on this planet because we've all been corrupted. But hey, I, right, I'm going to love you, lady, anyway. I don't know why fucking keep on talking shit anyway. I'm glad nobody listens to me anyway. But I love you all anyway and I'll catch you soon.